command module would be traveling at 25,000 miles per hour when it hit the upper atmosphere. If you travel down the highway, you're traveling at 60 miles per hour, you're traveling at 88 feet per second. We're coming in at 36,000 feet per second. It smashes into the atmosphere. It doesn't fly as much as whack, smash. To protect the capsule, the engineers had built the largest heat shield ever. Re-entering the Earth's atmosphere is dangerous because of the enormous heat it causes. The heat shield protects the command module for several minutes as it passes through the atmosphere. Down below, an aircraft carrier waits for the astronauts' arrival. You would not believe the mother load I just dropped. And that's how I like to keep it, leaving not a trace that I was ever here, let alone that I just birthed a creamy behemoth from my cavernous bowels. Years. A returning Apollo capsule would deploy its first drogue parachutes while still 25,000 feet up and traveling at 320 miles an hour. Then at 10,000 feet and still traveling at over 160 miles an hour, the main chutes would be opened. For a safe landing, these giant canopies would need to survive unprecedented speeds without shredding, to slow down the spacecraft to less than 20 miles an hour. No program before or since has ever had a parachute that was so thoroughly tested. With the designs perfected, it was time to manufacture them. There's approximately a half acre of very lightweight nylon fabric. We call it ripstop. In each main parachute, there's uh, approximately two million stitches. The suspension lines are uh, a mile and a half long. It takes about a week to pack this very, very, very tightly under hydraulic presses. And when we finished, the density of the fabric was like maple wood. These ladies took great pride in what they did. They all seemed to understand more than many of us that their sewing was the last uh, important step in uh, returning these astronauts safely home. On the 22nd of October, 1968, after 11 days in space, the first astronauts to ride the Apollo Command module returned to Earth on the finest parachutes ever made. So, how do you make the world believe your poop doesn't stink? Or in fact, that you never poop at all? Once we get about two miles above the surface, the parachutes are deployed to slow us down even more. The hard part is over. Now we just enjoy the ride. The final part of every mission Splash down. And when your little astronauts splash down and make contact with the film, they release Poopery's pleasant aromas so all those around you can smell as a refreshing bouquet of essential oh. oils. Yes, it is a real product. And yes, it really works. Thank you. 
So, how do you make the world believe your poop doesn't stink? Or in fact, that you never poop at all? 